Hi friends, it's me, Miss Chacon. We are back. Today is Tuesday. I hope you all had a very great Memorial Day. We did not have any work on Monday. So if you look over here at our plans today. So yesterday was Memorial Day, so we did not have any work. Um, this is our math video, so we're going to be learning about time to the half hour and how to tell time on a digital clock. And in our language arts video, which you'll be seeing on another video, it's a video about what is Memorial Day. What is that day we just celebrated? Okay, friends, and also, if you want to watch an extra video on growth mindset, it's a really cool video from Class Dojo, and I think you'll like it, okay? All right, so let's get started. One second. Okay, so... Today we're going to be learning about time to the half hour digital. So before, um, last week we learned about how to tell time to the half hour on an analog clock. And remember, an analog clock is a clock that has a face and the small pointer and the big pointer to the little hand and the big hand. They're pointing at the numbers. A digital clock just shows us the numbers right here, and it could be on a phone, maybe you see it on an alarm clock, or your microwave, or in your car. So that's what a digital clock is, okay? So let's get started. It says, Tyler's football practice ends at half past four. So if it ends at half past four, we know that 30 means half past. So that's the half hour. So it's going to be something 30. So half past four means that it's four right here, 4.30. Remember, 4.30 is the same as half past four. Whenever you say half past anything, like half past five, that means 5.30. Or half past eight, that means 8.30. Whenever you say half past, that means half of the hour has passed. So four o'clock is halfway over. It's almost over and then after the other half passes, it'll be five o'clock. So whenever you say half past, you'll, you know that it's gonna be 30 on the minutes. And on this side, the hour, when you say half past four, the hour side will be four. So let's get started on our digital side. So, and I really like, um, telling time on a digital clock, it's much easier. So I hope you find this lesson not too hard. It's pretty easy. So a digital clock can show time to the half hour. And you see how this clock right here, half of the hour has passed. So half of it is yellow, okay? So both of the clocks show half past what? So this analog clock right here has half past because look at the minute hand, started at the 12 and it went all the way down. So now it's half past because it's pointing at the six. So we know it's gonna be 30. So we know that because it's half past, it's gonna be 30. And then we look at the hour hand. So the minute hand is on the six, it's halfway down. So we know it's gonna be 30. Then we look at the hour hand. The hour hand is pointing towards the middle of seven and six. See, so it's at the middle of seven and six. And remember, whenever the hour hand is pointing at the middle of a number, that means we go this way and we pick the smaller number. So it's not half past seven, it's half past six because this hour hand went halfway through six. So it is going to be half past six or 6.30. So whether you say half past six or 6.30, either way is right. Okay, now we're looking at this one. First thing we're gonna do is look at the minute hand. And the minute hand is facing the six. That means it started here, it went all the way around and now it has half of the time. So it went through half of the hour. So that means if it's pointing on the six, it's gonna be 30 minutes. And it's half past what? So 
We're going to look at our hour hand, our small hand. We're going to make our little pointer and see what it's half past. Well, look at that. It's half past one because it started at one. It got halfway there. And remember, if you don't know um, which one, which hour it'll be, remember, you're always going to go this way and pick the smaller number. So it's one. So it's either 1.30 or half past one. Either way you say it is correct. So the time is 1.30. Okay, let's look at this one. The minute hand is on the six. That means it's going to be at 30. So 30 minutes because it started at 12 and we moved away down. And it's halfway done with the circle. Then we're looking over here and we see it's half past something, but we don't know half past what yet. So what is the hour hand telling us? Well, it's in between eight and nine. When it's in between, we always go backwards, pick the smaller number, and it's going to be eight. So it is 8.30 according to this analog clock. All right, now let's look at this one. The, the minute hand is on the 6, so it's going to be half past or 30. Then we're looking at this, and it's right in between 11 and 12, right? So we're going to go back in time. Remember, we always go back when we're looking at the hour. Unless it's pointing directly at the hour, if it's in the middle, we always go back in time. Whenever it's in the middle, we go back in time. Pick the smaller number, which is 11. So it is 11.30 or it's half past 11. All right, now let's look at this one. Um, the minute hand is on the 6, which means it went halfway down. It started, the minute hand started all the way up here. It moved its way all the way down here. So now it's at 30, so something 30. And we know that it's right here between three and four. We're gonna go back in time and it's at three. So the time is 3.30 or half past three. But I like to say 3.30, it makes sense in my mind. So if you like saying 3.30 or half past three, that's okay. Um, so I just say 3.30 because that's what it looks like on the digital clock. Okay, now talk math. How is half past 10 showed on a digital clock? Well, you're, what you're going to have to do is figure out how is half past 10 shown on a digital clock. So if you had your little clock right here, and you had your colon right here, and just like over here, what does half past 10 look like? Okay, so write your two numbers here and figure out what does half past 10 look like on a digital clock. Not an analog. Analog is harder to read, but digital like this, like something that's on your microwave or in your car. Okay, on my own, what I want you to do is pause this video for as long as you need, finish 5 through 10 on your own, and when you're done, come back and we'll do it together. Now remember, on your own, you it doesn't mean that you can... Um, it doesn't mean that you just give up if it gets hard. Try your best. You don't have to be right. You just have to try your best. And when you come back, we'll learn together, okay? So pause this video in five, four, three, two, one. Welcome back. I hope you paused this video and you were working on these on your own. So now let's get started and do it together. And remember, if you have any questions, you can go ahead and ask me on Class Dojo, or you can email me, whatever you need, friends. Okay, so we're going to look at this clock right here. The minute hand, the long hand, is on the 6, so we know it's going to be at 30, half an hour. And we know that the hour hand comes right between 1 and 2. So remember, we always go back in time. We never go forward when we're looking at the hour hand. So when we're looking at the hour hand, we know that it's going to be 1230 or half past 12. And when you, you may say, but Ms. Chacon, um, 12 is bigger than one. 
That's true, but when we go back in time, we see that 12 is what's back in time. If we, if we um, said 1, then we'd be going the opposite way. We'd be going this way. And that's not how we tell time when it comes to the hour. We always go this way. So let me erase that. So we never go we never go that way. We always go this way when we're trying to tell the hour. So the hour is 12:30. Okay. Now let's look at this one. This one's kind of close, so it may be a little harder. So the minute hand is at the 6. So we're going to put 30 on the minute side right here on the digital clock. We're going to put 30. Then on the hour hand, it comes right between 5 and 6. So we're going to go back in time, and the hour is going to be 5. So our time is 5.30. Okay? Now let's do number 7. The minute hand is on the 6. So we know that the minute is going to be 30 or half past. And the hour hand is between 7 and 8. So if it's between 7 and 8, we know to go back in time. We always go backwards. And we see that it is 7.30 because we went back. We didn't go forward, okay? All right, let's look at this one. The minute hand is on the 6. That means we do 30, 3, 0. And the hour hand is coming between 10 and 11. We're going to go back in time and see that it is 10, 30, or half past 10. All right, now let's go to number 9. Um, the minute hand is on the 6, so that means it's going to be at 30. And the hour hand, the smaller hand, is between the 2 and the 3. So what we're going to do is we're going to go back in time and see that it's going to be 2. Because it, it's, if we went this way, it would be 3. But we always go backwards in time. So we're, it's going to be 2 or so the time is going to be 2.30 or half past 2. All right, now let's do this one. Um, the minute hand is on the 6, so it's going to be 30. And the hour hand is between 9 and 10. So what we're going to do is we're going to go back, backwards in time. And it's going to be 9. So 9.30 or half past nine. All right, let's go to the next page. Mrs. Johnson's class has art at 9.30. It lasts one hour. What time does art class end? So we know that Miss Johnson's class starts at 9.30. We also know that it lasts one hour. And they're asking us, what time does art class end? So we need to have our starting time. So they started the art class at 9.30, okay? 9.30. But then they stayed in art class for an hour. So what we're going to do, because they stayed in art class for an hour, we're going to add an hour to the clock. So I'm going to add one. So because it's just one hour, we're going to put one in the hour spot. And we're not going to do 30 here because they stayed for an hour, not for an hour and 30 minutes. So I'm going to do one, zero, zero. Okay. Then we're going to add. Okay. First, we're going to add the minutes. So let's add the minutes. 0 plus 0 is 0. 3 plus 0 is 3. So we know that the time, the new time is still going to be 30. And we're going to bring our colons down, our little colon in the middle of our digital clock. And now for the hour, we have 9 plus 1. Well, I know if I have 9 in my head and add one more, I have 9, 10. 
So, art class ends at 10.30. So, 10.30. And just remember, whenever you're adding time, remember we add the minutes and then we add the hour. And that's how we come up with 10.30. Okay? All right, now let's do this one. Aiden's school choir will start singing at half past two. Now, half past two is kind of a hard thing. On this one, they said they started at 9.30. But on this word problem, they're saying Aiden started at half past two. What does half past two mean? Half past two means 2.30. So we know that Aiden started at 2.30, okay? And they said they will sing for one hour. So I'm going to add one hour right here and zero minutes because it's just one hour. They only sang for one hour. They didn't sing for an hour and 30 minutes or anything like that. So I'm going to add. So Aiden started singing at 2.30 and they sang for one hour. So now, how? what time did they stop singing? Well, I add the minutes first. Zero plus zero is zero. Three plus zero is three. And then we bring down our colon right there, see? And now we have two plus one for our hour. So two hours plus one hour, I get two in my head. Add one more, ready? two, three. So they stopped singing at 3.30. All right, 3.30. And then for our hot problem, Chase tells his friend that the time on the clock is 12 o'clock. Tell me why Chase is wrong. Make it right. So this Chase is saying it's 12 o'clock, but if you see this, this is not 12 o'clock. 12 o'clock looks like this, so it's 1, 2, colon, so 12, colon, 0, 0. Remember, we already learned that. That's what 12 o'clock looks like. This is not 12 o'clock. So tell me what time this actually is. So tell me why Chase is wrong, okay, my friends? So remember, this is not 12 o'clock, but what time is this, okay? All right, friends, that's it for today. If you have not watched our language arts video, I will see you a little later. All right, bye, friends.